Hey guys, hopefully everybody's doing really well. I am in Bluffington, Indiana, this small little town, passing a graveyard. But yeah, so I am picking up, uh, I've been here before. It was like chips um, and I was heading to Pennsylvania, which that's where I'm heading with this load. So I'm probably going to the same places like last time. So at least I have an idea on where I'm at, Don't where I'm going. Right. I told uh, CSR if they can um, get my appointment rescheduled, but they didn't, they didn't seem very hesitant. So hopefully I'll go in there and say, hey man, Oh, sorry I came late. Oh. Had some issues trying to find an empty trailer and it, <coughs> it took me a while yesterday. Good. Turn right at the traffic. Look at this quaint little town. All the space that I can get. Uh, same turn. Same turn. I can get on this one. Let's see. Same turn this way. Make sure we're good. Continue one half mile to the end of the street, then turn right. That guy's trying to turn. the same place I'm heading back there oh my god though oh, just uh, a little tired woke up this morning around 4 30 and I headed to a Planet Fitness which was like 10 minutes away um, from the Flying J that I was staying at at the end of the street turn right Got myself a nice workout, worked on chest and back, and a little bit of legs. I gotta work on my glutes a little more, cause everywhere else is growing except for my glutes. And it's, uh, I'm not a big, I'm not, a, I don't wanna say, my, I'm not a big fan of working out glutes, but I need to, cause it becomes uneven, unproportional with my body. Alright, I'm turning right up here. Turn right at the stop sign. Got the trash the first man. Left. There's a speed limit there. Yeah, I was going at good speed. Uh, stop sign? Yeah, yeah, stop sign. Some space on this one. Holy crap, man. Turn left at the stop sign. Talk about fucking tight as my balls. Now oh, I got her. Jesus. That was definitely a tight turn right there. I was like kissing that curb. Look at that little quaint little house. I would like a little house like that. All brick. So we got work in here. This one, but the next right, or the one after that one, or one before that one. It's not this one. It's the one after this one. It's right there. In 500 feet, arrive at 1955 West. Maybe Lancaster they have Street, a 
on the It could be. Maybe they have a preloaded uh, trailer for me, though. I could get lucky on that. Would not want to hit that rock right there. That thing, that thing would destroy the tandems on the truck. Alright guys, let me go in there and check in. They're most likely going to tell me, well, if it's a live load, then I'm going to have to go to a door. But let's uh, see what they say. I'll be back. So, thank God it was, it's preloaded. So I don't have to worry about a live load. Um, that's kind of what I thought when I came here before. But I thought it would be different this time. So I am just gonna open up the doors and go into door one is where they wanted me to go. Hopefully we're good to go. Let's get this door open. Look how rusty this thing is. Gross. Thank God I'm not taking this trailer with me. It's a little dirty, but it'll be all right. It's not that bad. Could be worse. I don't want to get cut myself with the rust. Let's get the little pieces out of here. Other than that. right back there because it seems like somebody else already hit that fence. guys I am all hitched up and heading out of here I should be able to get to um, hands over Pennsylvania by tomorrow early morning and then once I make that delivery most likely they'll give me my next load this one's around 600 miles hopefully the next one will be around 600 and then um, It'd be pretty, pretty, pretty close to where I need to, I'm going to finish up with Swift. Um, drop off the truck. And uh, move on to bigger and better opportunities out there. Hopefully this new carrier I'm going to go with um, does what they say, or pays what they say, really. From all the research I've been going through and all that, a lot of drivers, like we're talking about like probably five drivers on YouTube and I read some forums and everybody, everybody has good things to say about them. So, and I'm going with the Creed Carrier. So I am in Pennsylvania right now. I'm probably like two hours away, but I've been behind this guy. We're, we're like on uh, US 40, somewhat in the back roads, a lot of declines and uh, inclines. Every time we go in the incline, this guy goes like 10 miles per hour, which is slow. He's going 30 right now. There's like a line of cars behind us, but uh, at least nothing bad happened, so. Uh, just uh, cruising along, 
it is uh, foggy in between these uh, mountains, which when we got to the mountaintop, you could see like Pennsylvania is pretty nice, especially in the royal, royal areas. Um, you could see on top of the mountain, all the other mountains with the clouds or like not the clouds, but mostly the fog and mist in between them. And it looks really, really nice. Every time I go through like fogs, it kind of reminds me of like a scary movie or something. Like the mist, I don't know. That's why I like to like take it easy and go slow because you never know if somebody stops their car, that stuff like in the fog, it pops up like that. And like you can barely see like the brake lights if they stop or not until you get close, close enough, but it could be close enough too late, especially when you're in a big truck. So I basically made it to my uh, final, I'm just in this little town, Hensover, Pennsylvania, which it is a little town, really quaint, you can look at all these old buildings, a lot of brick buildings, streets are really small though. Coming up to it, Madison Street. Um, I did come here in a previous video, so I'm kind of aware of where to go this time because last time I was lost. When I was heading over here, though, look at that little pirate trip. I wish I had that as a child. My imagination would be everywhere if I had that pirate trip. All right, old lady, what are we doing? God damn it. Jesus. Freaking lady almost. Almost didn't stop. I thought she was gonna keep on going. All right, so, oh, we got, uh, got something going on over here. Got through that uh, little uh, mess, road work mess. I almost hit the cone. <laughs> it was like, I was just on the cone, just scraping it, trying to get by. All right, I don't want to miss this turn that's coming up. I think it's right up here. No parking. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's a big, t big decline going into the city and the sky was I was going, they want you to go like 45 in the truck and there's a guy who was just flying going down there and his brake started smoking. I'm like, uh-oh, but they didn't catch fire, but they were smoking. <laughs> he was holding those brakes going down that mountain. I was like, oh, I guess, guess we're gonna have a fire in our hands. Last thing you want is those tandems to catch on fire. Then the whole trailer's gonna catch on fire. And then that's even worse if you have a product in there too. All right, I'm gonna figure out what are we doing here. Mm. All right, let me run inside real fast. All right, so I got my paperwork in, and um, they want me to drop this uh, loaded trailer at an open spot, which doesn't seem like there's many open spots, but we'll, we'll see. Um, they did give me another load, but they want me to go into Philly, pick it up, and then head to Maryland. Just the times on it just seemed very weird. It said like tomorrow at one o'clock in the morning. I don't want to drop it off. I don't want, what the hell? Am I gonna make this? Let's see. Mm. Oh my god, it's close. <laughs> I don't want to hit that wall either. There we go. Jesus Christ, man. God damn. Freaking loaded up with trailers in this place. Alright. Well, they got an open spot right there, but I don't think I'm going to get that thing right in there. 
could try. And of course I gotta look for an empty trailer, which doesn't look very promising. I think I brought this, I brought this trailer here. Like maybe two weeks ago or a week ago, I bought that trailer here. I remember the numbers. That is crazy. <laughs> And of course, why the hell would he park it like that? Like, how am I supposed to, you know? People are just stupid. Obviously, they just have too much inventory at the moment that they can't keep up and um, move it. Because where, where, where am I gonna park this thing? I could park it next to this one. Where the heck do they want this thing? Last time it was hard to find a parking spot for this trailer. Or the last, that one, that one trailer that's there, that's the one I parked last time. They still haven't touched it, obviously, so. All right, guys, let me see if I can figure this out. Well, I had to park the trailer right there. Um, it's not really a spot, but you know what? There's nowhere else to park it. I went around. So you know what? Screw it. Not my problem. I got it here. It's all that matters. And it's on the grass, so it shouldn't, even if it does rain or whatever, it shouldn't like slide. I don't think it should slide. Now, if the yard rocky's trying to back up up to it and it's muddy there, then he's gonna have to get the load another time <laughs> when it gets dry. <laughs> Cause he probably is not gonna be able to get it out of there. Maybe. I don't know. Just overthinking it. Um, so they gave me this other load. I denied it, rejected it because I'm like, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to go to Philly, especially at this time. By the time I get there, there's gonna be traffic and I'm trying to find parking in Philly's the worst in the world. They don't have any empty trailers here. I can honestly just, I got lucky that one time and got one over here, but from the way things are looking, I already looked at this one and there's that one and there's another one right over there. I'll probably go around, see if there is any other Swift trailers and I'll look in them, but uh, possibly they they don't have any empty trailers for Swift. Yeah, I am here now just stuck because I don't know what to do next. I did reject that load because I do not want to go into Philly, especially by the time I get there, it's going to be four o'clock and traffic is horrible over there, first of all. The secondly, um, finding parking for a semi truck is very difficult, especially in the East Coast around that area. So I don't want to deal with that. If it was like more miles, like 500 or over, I would do it, but it's only 80 from Philly to Maryland. And I'm just like, nah, I'm good. I told him like, I'm leaving anyways on Friday and I don't want, I don't want to live like that. Do you guys have anything heading south to of Virginia? Maybe going to North or South Carolina? I haven't heard anything yet. So they're probably just not going to give me anything until tomorrow or later on today. Um, I did do an empty trailer solution because there is no trailers here at all. All of them are loaded and they're just falling behind on getting that inventory moving. Um, but other than that, I am going to end the video here, guys. Hopefully you guys are really enjoying the content because I do enjoy making it. So please subscribe and also like my videos so everybody on the internet can see it. Um... Also, if you guys have any questions in regards to trucking or Swift in general, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, I'll leave my Instagram in the descriptions as well. That being said, hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day and be safe out there in the road, guys. Bye.